So guys, thank you so much for tuning in for my first ever video. I'm New EDMs and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a uh, simple kick beat in Logic Pro X. Your own and from scratch. Uh, it's going to be pretty basic. Um, now unfortunately I can't really record um, the sounds in my system so you will hear, hear it clearly like I do. It's only been going to be recording my um, microphone with my um, Mac speakers which is very unfortunate but we're going to try to make the best out of, out of it anyway because the thing you really want to know is how to make this beat. Now I I was pretty stupid before so I didn't I didn't you know think logic so I didn't know how to do this but it's actually really simple and if you guys are a bit familiar a bit, know a bit how to use logic this will pl probably sink right into you so the first thing you will obviously do is go into logic pro x what you want to do is you want to go to new here and you want to create yourself a new project um, we're going to go for um, software instruments today and um, and we're just going to create uh, now what we're going to do here is we're going to we're going to go ahead and um, find ourselves a draw machine right um, today we're going to use the boutique, boutique 909 um, because I think it has great sounds in it or it no, it's 808 actually. Sorry. <laughs> then the thing you want to do is you want to press P on your keyboard, or you can go up to window here and uh, open piano roll. That's what we're gonna do right now. Now, when you press P, um, this is basically what's gonna happen. You're gonna get this little um, this little window down here, which you can extend, of course, by doing this, for instance and this so you have a little window of what how your how your uh, uh, little beat looks over here but and uh, here's all the different sounds of course like in a normal piano roll if you guys don't don't know how to use piano roll you just press command and you just create a note like this and you can extend it or shorten it for your preference and you can make a bunch of them into a beat which is what we're going to do today so I can just like put this in loop and then you guys can hear this like this is that, that's pretty basic and um, what we're actually going to do today is um, take four bars each um, sound and we're going to create this. I'm just going to st extend this uh, little area right here, and then it will sound like like this. Yeah, that that, that was kind of slow, but of course you can uh, have a bit faster BPM. So that's a pretty, that's a pretty very standard beat uh, there. So um, obviously very simple. But if you want to have a, a kick, you know, um, this is a very this is a very basic kick. Let me just turn off on a little bit louder. This is a basic kick. Now obviously if you press X, you will get your mixer here and then you can go in and you can go in and equalize it if that's something interesting you can like make it le lesser you can make it more punchy or you can make it more um like uh um bumpy like like <laughs> don't know how to make that sound but more like bumpy and this is more like a tight bass well, this is more like an open bass. Um, that, so you could do that if you want to. You can obviously turn it off if you don't. If you want to compare it, you can also just press and compare though. Um, but yeah, that's basically how you make it. Let me just uh, clear this and show you guys again. Um, so you press P, 
basically you find yourself your uh, kick note I remember that it was C1 um, and you just press command and you just um, you just click on the place on uh, the place here you want to create your note okay that was a bit messed up but here you just do that and you just create a few and just uh, just extend this and then you're actually good to go it's not it's not nothing harder than this so very simple very simple now if you mark all of this you can change it up to you can you can make it to different sounds And you can also just like create two at once. So sound something more like this. Now this will only make the snare have a bit more of a punch in the background. I don't know if you, if you guys really need that, but this, I'm just showing you basically everything you can do. So. Hopefully this video helped you out if you if wondered and if you want to see more basic tutorials because I'm not really pro myself you can just leave a comment down below and like this video and subscribe of course um, and yeah it's been your uh, boy new EDMs and I'm out.